Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a movie review this week. It's called Snow Day, the 2000 Nickelodeon production film where on that one particular snow day, anything can happen. You know, roads are blocked, schools are shut down, kids and family are having fun making snowmen, snowballs, you know, any kind, and have the best time of their lives. In fact, th this movie, I remember this movie has been hi overhyped up by Nickelodeon at the time, like back in 1999. A lot of people were talking about this movie. Nickelodeon was showing a lot of promos for this film many times already that even for me, I, I wanted to see the film for myself. I also heard that uh, when this movie was in production, they actually filmed it somewhere in Canada, and as well as all, all the other locations here in the U.S. Originally, this was going to be scheduled to be a movie that was based on the adventures of Pete and Pete. So that means they were probably going to get some of the actors from the show. And actually, it would have worked. But apparently, they... They scrapped the project and had to be rewritten in order to make this movie a standalone film. And it's kind of interesting too that this would have worked so well as the Adventures of Peter Pete movie that they really would love to have. Not to mention this was also the screen debut of a young kid named Josh Peck who went on to do the TV series Drake and Josh after he got his start in the Amanda show during the second season and yeah it was <laughs> he sure had grew up since then you know he lost a lot of weight you know he became more mature now at his age so he's he's looking mighty fine now <laughs> yeah but this was a great film uh, I I really enjoyed it. I, I remember hearing a lot of mixed reviews from critics. Mostly it was negative, but I guess people just didn't appreciate some of the Nickelodeon films at the time. Yeah, because they always give negative reviews to films like Harriet the Spy and Good Burger. Not to mention the Rugrats movie had some issues too. But I really love this movie and I think it's definitely right up there with Harriet the Spy and Good Burger as, as far as Nickelodeon has been concerned. Because this was back when Nickelodeon was really cool and not garbage like today. The movie stars Chevy Chase with Chris Elliott, Pam Greer, Mark Reber, Emmanuel Waki, Zena Gray, Josh Peck, Gene Smart, Jade Yoker, John Schneider, and Damian Young. It's directed by Chris Koch. The movie begins set in Syracuse, New York. A hail blizzard storm has arrived, causing all the roads, streets, and schools to be shut down on this one particular snow day, which focus on a group of elementary students that's led by Natalie, also short for Nats, Branston, was played by Santa Gray, who tries to keep all the schools snowed in and closed by stopping a mischievous, crazy, sneering snowplow driver named Roger Stubblefield, who is played by Chris Elliott, from plowing all the streets. But meanwhile, her older brother Hal, who is played by Mark Reber, tries to win the heart of a high school sweetheart, who is also a diver, named Claire Bonner, who is played by Emmanuel Waki. With the help of his best friend, a redhead named Lan Leonard, who secretly harbor her feelings for Hal. But of course, another problem is Claire is dealing with the bully that tends to stole his heart or away. Of course, he's also, you know, being embarrassed by himself and everything. Also, their father, Tom, who is played by Chevy Chase, is a TV meteorologist who was faced off against a rival meteorologist, Chad Simon, who is played by John Schneider. And, and his proof was that, that this meteorologist is actually considered to be 
what seems to be just a figure but with a handsome smile. Yeah, because that's what he that's what he really is. Coming from the TV show The Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> But of course, they both had to fight against each other by continuing its his wetter career. So that's where you know, his boss, uh, Pam Greer, decides to join. His wife, Laura, who's played by Jean Smart, is a workaholic and a mother of, of all kids. He's actually stuck at home with Randy, the youngest brother, and very mischievous. It goes around doing a lot of crazy stuff. During that day, Natalie and her friends Wayne and Chet, both played by Josh Peck and Jade Yoker, had decided to take over the plow and unplow the streets so all the snow would be back in the way that he plows in just to create yet another snow day in order to not become just only one day only. But after their in this love the demonstrations and being rescued by Natalie, Hal had found out that he, in fact, loves Lane even more than, than her. Because not only that, though, Claire has a boyfriend of hers that turns out to be a creep. Yeah. After that, Tom actually, you know, on unmasked Chad on live television showing the viewers that he is indeed a fake and he finally wins his status back and then after all all this then that one particular day and night Natalie finally gets her revenge against the snowplow man Hal finally got his revenge after the creep that winds up with, with Claire and the whole thing went back to normal in order to create yet another snow day to accomplish and I thought it was very cute and very funny at times and it really works because it shows you what was it like you know having one particular snow day and your whole life goes around in that one in the whole day in order to figure this out for yourself but of course what happened in the movie really shows that that no matter what happened that even if you're in even if you're falling in love but a high school sweetheart, you're always not going to be able to get what you want. And the sad part is you wouldn't because you have to deal with a jerk these days to, to ruin your life. So I'm glad that her, I'm glad that his friend actually helped him for that. And of course, uh, if um, that if you had to deal with the snowplow man, <laughs> yeah, Chris Elliott, of course. That you're gonna be, <laughs> that no matter what, you always will have your revenge to be able to have your own snow day for yourself, for for everybody, so for all the kids around, families, friends. So it wouldn't be just, you know, just one particular day only. Yeah, because you know people just want to have fun instead of just you know being bored at school. It happens. Yeah, I, I should know because it's always fun to play in the snow. I, I used to go to Oregon back then and I started, uh, and when it was snowing that day, we actually got to play outside in the snow all the way until until it started raining and it was all, all the ice was melted all the way. Yeah, such a shame because that's what happened to me <laughs> when I was living there. Only, only one year, of course. But it had a great cast in this film. Chevy Chase couldn't be more, um, couldn't be more excellent in that role as the meteorologist, you know, trying to save his career from being a disaster. And you know, Gene Smart was actually very good as well, you know, having to deal with her, her mischievous son, you know, having to deal with her son. It's going really, <laughs> it's going completely crazy, and all the rest, as well as uh, Emmanuel Wakey, you know, hard to believe, but this is the same actress who went on to do the TV series 
Thundercats from 2011, the new version, which she does the voice of Chitara. It's hard to believe that was actually her after all these years. Yeah, she did a very good job playing the voice of that role. Yeah, I just hope that, you know, it's sad that the show's been on hiatus or, or possibly canceled. I don't know. Because I haven't seen the show being returned on Cartoon Network for, for a few years now. But I thought she did a great job in that role. I know she went on to do some terrible films after this, such as uh, On the Line with those two idiots from Instinct, and as well as a film with Usher Raymond. Yeah. Not a perfect career choice as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, but she'll always be remembered as the girl Claire in the film Snow Day. That's for sure. They also had a lot of cameos in the film too, including Pam Greer as, as Thomas's uh, boss, you know, just working with him, as well as Iggy Pop, you know, just basically just <laughs> just playing a DJ you know, at a local local skating park. There's even uh, Lazana Chili Thomas, you know, one of the the singers from the group TLC. He's just playing just a yeah, she's just playing. Uh, an online friend that uh, Gene Smart's character is, is contacting her. Yeah. They, they show that in the movie too. And I also like that one scene in the film where Josh Peck was already <laughs> already covered with ketchup and and when the snowplow man played by Chris Elliott was going around while eating french fries he, he wants to <laughs> thinking that, the, that Josh Peck's character is all bleeding that he's just trying to figure it out if, if it was actually ketchup. So, yeah, I mean, this was just part of a prank, thinking that he, he got run over or something. But he just put his french fries inside <laughs> his body and he eats it anyway. So I knew it was ketchup. That Zena Gray and Josh Peck had both teamed up in another movie called Max Keeble's Big Move with Alex D. Lynn from Home Alone Free. Which seems like it's a Nickelodeon film that's disguised inside a Disney production. Yeah, because it is a Disney movie. But it should have been a Nickelodeon film, actually. But it's not a great film as far as I'm concerned, but it, it was okay. Nothing special. But it's amazing that they were both in that film. And I love the actors, too. I went to see this movie twice uh, in Glendale and Eagle Rock. Yeah, one was Man Feeders, which is no longer that theater anymore. It's now the MGN Five Star Cinema, which is basically a theater where they just have like a, a few seats on the screen and you have a waiter ordering your drink. And it's kind of like the theater that you get in Pasadena and all those other ones. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it has a big screen as well. And the other theater, the Eagle Rock Plaza Theater, which had four screens. Yeah, four screens and shows double feature films which usually was just a, a first run feeder before it became second run so yeah I got to see some double features at the time before the feeder got shut down in 2001 yeah. it was a great feeder it, it came out in 1973 the same way that the feeder was open and yeah, I used to watch a lot of movies back then I even got to see Good Burger over there too as well at that same feeder yeah, so it's no longer there anymore because it's all been shut down, became, uh, basically just became one of these stores at the Eagle Rock Plaza. In fact, the mall has been already changed over the years after that. And it's amazing how, how much different this mall really is. But the outside looks pretty much the same as it was when it was built. Just to make you, just to keep that in mind. <laughs> now, anyway, I, I love Snow Day. It's a great movie. I think you should definitely watch it if you ever find a copy of the film on DVD or VHS or whatever. I hope it comes out on Blu-ray someday too, especially with all the special features. Um, sad to say, this DVD that I got didn't have um, the music video that I was hoping this was going to come in. Yeah, the music video was by a young um, Hawaiian girl named Hoku, Yeah, who sang the song called Another Dumb Blonde. And 
I remember that song was being played into the movie. And I saw the music video of it. It was cute. Yeah, she went on to do the song Perfect Day from the movie Legally Blonde. And I think she went on to do another film that was a kid's movie, which I think Joey Travolta got involved in. So that's interesting enough. Anyway, it's it, it's fun. You should definitely check this out if you get a chance. It's a, it's a great movie. I loved it. So I give Snow Day four stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.